Hi guys, Sassy Cassie here, and today I'm going to bring, be bringing you my iMats slash New York haul. At iMats itself, I didn't get too, too much. I got a couple things, um, but I got these three brushes, and these two are the same, and they are just blending brushes, and they are a little bit tapered at the end. Um, I like this a lot for directly in the crease and kind of just blending out that way. So I got these two brushes, and these are... The 1B 119 Deluxe Crease Brush, and these were $2. Yes, $2. And I got them from Morph Brushes, and uh, they gave me this little card when I checked out. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna put this code down below for you guys. So if you wanna um, check these brushes out or get any, you can get 20% um, off your brush purchase. The third brush I got from Morph is this flat top. Kabuki brush. You can see I've already used it and I love it. Um, really awesome for blending foundation and I've been using it with my Revel and Nearly Naked foundation. Just a really nice soft flat top Kabuki brush that's perfect for blending up my uh, foundation. I've been using it. I've been dotting my foundation all over my face and then going in with this and blending it in. I believe this was $10 again from the Morph brush booth. Also from the Morph brush booth I got this 28 section palette and it just looks like this and these are all MAC shadows they had at the Morph brush booth as well they had single shadows um, that you could have purchased but I just um, I depotted all my MAC shadows and I put them in here I don't have too many um, but I really wanted a palette because I love MAC shadows and I'm planning on buying more so um, this just gives me the extra space and not at iMats in the um in the Mac in Times Square. I bought this color right here, which is Club. This is the color I've been looking at for a while. It's a satin finish. It's just a really pretty green metallic that has a bit of a taupe undertone to it and a little bit of brown. I've been really enjoying wearing this in my crease. And when you kind of blend it out on the skin you can definitely see that brown a little bit more like you can see it on the outer edges here so it looks fairly it doesn't really look terribly you know colorful it definitely has that greenish tint to it but it still gives a more natural look and I've been really enjoying wearing, the, wearing this in my crease and the name it, I would totally just this is like the perfect color to wear out at night because it gives you a little bit more of like a color something a little more fun but then it, um, you know, is subtle at the same time. And then I also bought another satin taupe. And if you guys don't know what this is, I talked about it in a favorite video. It's a really pretty purple satin, again, taupe e color um, as well. And this is just a really beautiful color. I think it's a MAC staple. If you have never purchased a MAC shadow before, there's a swatch it out. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend this one. I really enjoy wearing that in my crease as well as underneath my waterline as well. Continuing with the last couple things I purchased at iMats, at the Style Hall booth, they were um, selling these new lashes that are not releasing to the public until I believe they said October. And they are the Fake It Liberty Republic lashes. And I got three different kinds. And uh, these ones are walk of shame and they're a little bit more dramatic um i got two more natural ones i have never worn fake lashes before i've never applied them like i've never worn them i've never had anybody else apply them for me but this is just these ones are called innuendo these are definitely a fuller lash uh but again these are super super natural looking these are going to give you a very very full lash look that's what they look like. And those are called innuendo. The last ones I got that are the most natural of all the lashes that they had are called Pillow Talk. And these are the most natural lashes. And I really like these because they have a little bit more of a wisp to them. They're still very, very full. Um, but they're going to look really nice. I'm excited to try these out and wear them. They're real human hair. They last up to 23 wears, um, which is great. And these were 3 for 15. So I'm pretty excited about those, and I'm really excited to try them. If you guys would like to see a review on those, just let me know in the comments below. Since I already showed you uh, two things I purchased at MAC, I purchased the Club Eyeshadow and a, a new depotted 
satin taupe shadow and I purchased that at the American Times Square. I will show you the other thing I purchased, which is a lipstick that I have on my lips right now. And it is from a collection that's currently out. And this shade, this shade is called A Blaze. Really pretty uh, matte finish, uh, coral orange color, definitely on the orange side. But this is what it looks like. And it's just a really, really pretty shade for summertime. And I, I've been loving wearing this lately. So super, super pretty. It's going to look really, really nice with a tan. I've already broken into it, and I'm very excited for it to be summer. So people will look at me with weird faces. Because I go to school in New Hampshire. Enough said. And the last makeup product I purchased, um, it was at the Macy's in Herald Square. And it is called... Fake Up by Benefits, and it's a crease control hydrating concealer, and I got it in the color Medium O2, and I, this is what I have on for my concealer today, and I've been using it a lot lately, and I really, really enjoy it, and the packaging is really, really pretty. kind of looks like a lipstick tube, but it's not, um, and it just says Fake Up, and the way this product works is, this is what it looks like, and the outside clear rim of it is the hydrating part and obviously in the center is the concealer. Since I just purchased, I mentioned that I purchased that makeup or the fake up at Macy's, uh, I will stick with Macy's and I also got a maxi dress or a high low hem dress. So it just looks like this, a really pretty neon tribal print pattern and it has like these side cutouts so your shoulders here and then you can see your side here and same on this side and then like I mentioned it's high low so you can see the high low there and it is very very pretty it's got a little bit of a flap in the front and in the back it has this crisscrossing all down the back kind of like to lace it up and this is from Madonna's Daughters line, a material girl actually, and it's more of a junior's line. Um, I did get it in a large just because it was a junior's line, and I maybe could have did a medium because uh, it's a little baggy up top. But I definitely would have to wear a bandeau or sticky boobs with this. I just love it. Yee! I'm so excited to wear this. So, And I'm obsessed with maxis and high low hem dresses, so I'm very excited to pick this up. The color is perfect. Uh, in the graphic for this spring and summer. So yay, I'm gonna wear it as a scarf. Just kidding, it's a dress. Keeping with the maxi high-low dress trend, I picked up another maxi dress because I love maxis for the summer. And it's this really pretty just mint and white striped dress. And it is a maxi. And it just has spaghetti straps. It's a pretty basic maxi dress. It's a little more like empire waist. Um, but super cute and it was only $15. It had this special little tag on it. Another dress I got is this one and it is this almost ombre type of dress and in the middle it ha it's long sleeve and in the middle it has a knot and these cutouts right here. Super super cute. Have two hair accessories. One is this headband and it has all these spikes around it and it's just I have a twist in my hair today but you just put it like that and I already wore this and I believe this is 480 but I've been looking for a headband like this so I was excited to find that and then I also just got this satin um, headband I've been wearing it like across my forehead like this and it matches my lipstick not really um, and it's just this geometric black kind of royal blue orange pattern. I believe this is like 480 as well. So I got that. So that's it for my New York haul guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you and you can also like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and my name there is Sassy Cassie 8 because somebody took 86. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Sassy later.